Have you guys heard about I'm in a Pokemon training video? What? 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 No. <laughs> Today we're joined by someone uh, who you'll know uh, from his roles as Joe Goldberg in You, as well as Dan Humphrey in Gossip Girl. But for me, I'll always know him as the voice of Alex in the 2000 video game Mario Tennis. Oh. Are you, are you, you're not serious. Give it up for Ben Badgley! <laughs> Good little bit of knowledge that. Like, Mario Tennis, that's sick. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I was 10. I think I... I couldn't have been much older. Wow. That must have been the coolest moment ever to get to get that job. Um, so here's the thing. I didn't have a Nintendo 64 until long after it came out. Right. And when my parents got it for me, they did not get me a game. Oh. They 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 wanted me to. That makes them sound pretty bad, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's that's horrifying. <laughs> that's the worst. You got the console, but yeah, no. So game. they rented a game for me. I'm pretty sure it was Castlevania and Star Wars Rogue, uh, whichever one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not a Star Wars fan. And I didn't know what Castlevania was. <laughs> oh, he just wanted Mario. I never had Mario. Oh. Um, yeah, so I didn't. I, I've never played the game that I'm in, by the way. Do you, that, but that's not that's not a result of my parents. That's uh, I was past it by the time it came out. I think. The next time you're in, we're gonna go. We'll go down to the get green screen, and me and you will play it, dude. That would be a trip because I've really, I really, I've I've been mildly curious for. Two thirds of my life. But I promise you, next time we'll get an <laughs> we'll get an N sixty four. We'll go downstairs and we'll play Mario wow. Tennis. So you've never treated yourself to an N sixty four because if I was in no, your no. position, I'd, and I'm kind of like even I'm doing this thing. The the toys and the stuff that I had when I was younger or wanted when I was younger, I go get them now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Get the N sixty four. I d no, I, but I mean, they do have that now, right? They have like a thing that looks yeah. like a Nintendo 64, but inside it's just a little chip. Probably That's not a saying, single. Man. You want a cartridge. Right, you, so you're saying a real Nintendo. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Pen, look, thank you so much for coming in today, dude. Obviously, you're here for uh, you, season four. Yes. Out on Netflix right now, set right here in the UK. Yeah. I mean, how long were you over here filming it for? Almost seven months. Oh, wow. Of last year. So you, are you honorary Brit now? Well, you know, my wife is British. Yeah, of course. So, I, but no, I'm not an honorary Brit. I, I love it here. I actually, uh, I truly, truly love it here. It was, I got to do what rarely visitors ever get, which is I li just lived here. I didn't go oh. to hardly any tourist attraction. You know yeah. what I mean? It was just, it was a very lovely. And I, yeah, I just got to experience what it is to be here, be surrounded by Brits, all that stuff. What, what parts of our culture have you got? Um, maybe obsessed with, uh, or maybe even TV, Traffic Cops, Antiques Roadshow. So when I'm, yeah, when I'm working, I have uh, definitely don't have time for TV. But, no TV. But, but, uh, but uh, I mean, and actually, you know, I gotta say, your television, just like the public television, it's weird to me. Why? Have you seen EastEnders? Is that no. what it is? No. no. Well, the, just the culture around it. Your pop culture is surprisingly different from ours. Really? Yeah, just even everything about it. Everything about it. I don't know why. It's I, I can't quite put a finger on it. It's more... <laughs> um, it's somehow poppier, but like quieter at the same time. I'm, I'm intrigued. What what shows is this? Well, I don't even know that it's that it's reflected in the shows as much as it's like... It's also like the tabloid culture does everything about... Oh, yeah. It's just... I don't know. Like you guys have so much more. Um, you, well, you have more history in a way. I mean, you yeah. of course have more history. Mm. There's just more, just longer. So there's a so there's like a there's a class to it all, and yet and yet it's pretty tacky. Classy tack is what yeah. we do best. It really, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, we it's do very, that. It, like that is odd to me. <laughs> Like, I get class and I get tack, but together? <laughs> but there's an art yeah. to it. Yeah. There's an art yeah. to it. Do you think that, I mean, that's the show summed up, really. Yeah, actually, classy tack. <laughs> but, Roman, do you think that's the case as well? It's like, in America, I, a lot of things are glossy, aren't they? Like, Very. entertainment it's, news is, like, shiny, That's shiny. what I mean. It's like our production value, we die. I mean, look, Hollywood is Hollywood. And Hollywood is, ha so America is just, we're the place that current, form of media emanates from in a way and um it just we somehow dialed it in i'm not saying it's a good thing mm. i'm just saying there's something that's different and and i if anything i think i prefer i prefer this i prefer being here yeah and the way that it feels because of i just there's something about the culture here that was a very necessary break for me. Yeah, I'll I think that. I think I think it's one of those things. It's like the difference of uh, like in the, in the American kind of news TV channels. It's like, did you ever think you'd see a hamster <laughs> riding a bicycle? Yeah. And then over here, it's like a hamster was caught riding a bicycle. We Gillian take it Burke quite seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I do, yeah. yeah, I do, I do, and I like that. So after seven months here, and obviously, as you say, your wife's British. What sort of um, food-wise are you familiar with the Yorkshire pudding? 
I did have, yeah. yeah. Yorkshire pudding, yeah, like, Sunday yeah. roast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, another interesting tidbit about like when I'm shooting, uh, not having time for television, for instance, it's hard to eat meat after a while oh. because I'm raging all the time and it's quite physical. So I, I tend towards like, a couple weeks in, usually I'm ending up vegetarian, so I was not having a lot of Sunday roasts anymore. But you know what I did do for the first probably a couple months? I had um, a full English modified. I, I don't think I could eat both the kinds of meat or all three kinds yeah, of meat. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I would, eat, I, would, I would have that and have that hold me over for most of the day. Okay. <laughs> have you ever heard of Bovril? No. Now, Bovril is like, that's niche. But but bovril is like it's like do you drink tea? Yeah, I love tea. So imagine beefy tea. Yeah, it's so, beef. So wait, is it is it uh? It's not broth? a soup. It's not broth. It could be. You could think it was that, <laughs> but a bit of bovril. <laughs> bovril. It's not too bad. Are there like bits of? No, no, really. no. no. So I, actually have some, I actually have some in the office. If you wanted to try it, I can let you try it. You but, know, but, I, it's yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good. It really, really good. I, I, I believe you, but it's like you go it's a to bit the early. football. You go, you go to the football and then you, and then you have it. But yeah, if right. you're saying you're vegetarian, probably stay away from. Actually, I think it's vegan. Anyway, but look, <laughs> enough bovril chat. Mario thing I had done uh, years prior when I lived in Washington State because Nintendo, by the way, is in Washington State. It's outside of Seattle. That was, I think that was why I got that. Why? Let's just talk more about Bovril and Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> Bovril and yeah, so, Nintendo. So, uh, so, so Will and Grace, yeah, when I, and I moved, I'm pretty sure I moved to LA when I, in 1999, I think. Um, yeah. And, and that was the first job I got after a few months, Will and Grace. Wow. I hate to interrupt it, Go but on. there will be people listening really hoping we talk about you. So I'm only going to do it just for a little question. I'm not here to talk about you. I'm here to talk about Bovril. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, Nintendo is number three. Number two actually is going to be, what's a deep cut? The Pokemon video. Have you guys seen, have you guys heard of it? I'm in a Pokemon training video. What? What? No. <laughs> What? Yeah, don't, so don't we're really not going to talk about you. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hold that thought. No, so, yeah. so, the, so, oh, geez, how do I even explain it? There was a, okay, when the Pokemon trading card game yeah. was, I think, first ever coming out. This is, again, in, like, 2000. Mm -hmm. They, I think in America, at least, they realized that nobody was learning how to play the game and they were only trading. Yeah. yeah. And that was probably... That probably had something to do with they wanted. Let's be honest, they wanted more money, right? They, that's probably they were like, we need people to play the game, yeah. and not just trade the cards arbitrarily. It needs substance, right? And so this was a training video that was probably on VHS. I mean, it must have been. I don't know. I don't know where it was available. I don't know. I think they sold it with packs of training cards, and so what they had was they had all of these kids teaching each other how to play. Pokemon, the game, and then and then I did three um, like intermediate skits about <laughs> Pokemon. So I'm like teaching a bunch of parents how to play. Where's this? That's it. That's it. Is that the video? That is it. I have not seen that in so long. Woo, but woo. why is this not on the IMDb? Yeah. Um, probably because it wasn't Union. It needs it needs recognition. No, I love it. it. Have you ever been to Japan? Because you're probably massive over there. Uh, like, because you, you've done Pokemon yeah, and then right. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, no, I haven't. I've been to the airport. <laughs> Oh, man, I mean, that is insane. So Sorry. You, you trained people how to play Pokemon, essentially. Yes, that, adults, fake, yes. But I, I remember it. The, I remember the comedy. I remember the, yeah. So yeah. you're the sensei of Pokemon? Yeah. Essentially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great, okay. Now uh, you can talk about you. Just quickly, I'm going to interrupt and maybe That's try fine. and talk about yeah. you. Season four, out now, if you want to watch it. Uh, set in London this time. Yes. Pretty cool. Um, and just to, I don't know, to tease people in that haven't been watching it, um, Joe's meeting his match a little bit this time round. There's people who've got like a gist of, you know, he's tried to come over and change his identity yeah. and start a new life and it's not going to plan. That's true. You, you did it. You sold it. I think well we're done. Right? And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch it, it's on Netflix well now. <laughs> no, I, 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 can give, I can give you whatever you want. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, look, I can't give you spoilers. No, right? what can you say? So I, I can say very little because it really delivers. If anybody's seen part one already, which, let's be honest, millions of you have, <laughs> um, I think it doesn't, it just doesn't pack the same, it's not meant to be a standalone. It's meant to be a, a, a strange cliffhanger. And what our show does best is purposefully withheld from 
much of part one. Mm. Part two is an incredibly satisfying, like, coming home, so to speak. Um, and, and, and that's, I think, all that I can say. But part two really really does have something else to it. The still, twist still do you think you're waiting still, for? We've still got the baseball cap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hat, I mean, the hat's a, the hat's a given. <laughs> but, but, um, but all the twists you think you're waiting for happen, like, halfway through part two. And then you're okay. like, what, what else is going to okay. happen yeah. now? Yeah. So, yeah, just, uh, just hang, just on, hang, to, in hang there. on to your hat. The last, last question for, for fan-wise is, there's, there, is a, there is a thing about um, in the show, in the new series, making a lot of reference to one of your previous shows, Gossip Girl. Yeah. Is this just coincidence or is it... Well, do, yeah, do they make direct references? They, they, there is something in there with a Rufus back in season two. Hmm. I mean... Are they I, stretching? Is it fan theory I, stretching? No, I, it's not. It's not a stretch because it's very much in the same. There's like a cultural conversation between them, not just through me, but the fact that they're somehow in the same wheelhouse, but even though they're quite different. Mm. I would say that it's never a stretch to find connections between Joe and Dan, probably. But but they're but they're not they're not embedded. I don't think the show was intentionally trying to seem more like aspects of Gossip Girl in this season. Right. And I don't even when people say that, I think I'm not even really sure. Yeah, because. You know the 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 academia we're depicting here is so much more. Um, it's full of like. It's it's really depraved, and Gossip Girl wasn't that depraved. <laughs> so it was you know, on, it was you on know the CW. You, you know? know you know when you went back to to saying it over here it's a lot more tacky. Yeah, like it, we are classy tack, and you've just used the words academia and uh, plot development and things like that. We've I just didn't gone say up plot a development. Level. What did you say? You said academia and, I don't know. and I, something. Sure. But, but yeah. just that word, that's pushed us up a level. Sure, yeah. So if well, we take anything welcome. for today, so thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's worlds colliding, Roman. I mean, it is, Basically yeah. what we're saying is watch depraved you. Depraved was the word. Watch Sorry, you, depraved. but have it with a bovril. Exactly. That's that's what we're saying. Play some video it? games afterward. Yeah. Perfect. Next time, I promise, next time we come in, we'll go downstairs, we won't do an interview, we'll play some N64. That would be so fascinating. We'll play Pokemon. Because <laughs> so I've got a couple of cards at home still, and we'll have some bubble. All, All right. right. Uh, Penn Badgley, thank you so much for yeah. coming on to the show thank today. You uh, don't forget, you, Series 4, out on Netflix right now. Millions of people, as Penn has said, have already watched it. Get on board. Let's hear it. Penn Badgley, everyone. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo.